I'm putting this on friends only, but I have a lot of teachers on my friends only. When, when, when is it enough? Like, when do I decide to throw in the towel and leave my kids and my team? Because I had like a legitimate panic attack last night for the first time in years. And I just feel like I'm being like completely picked apart. And I'm trying really hard to keep a positive attitude about it, but I just woke up so anxious this morning. And then I had seven people from the district in my room observing me today, and I thought it went really well. My kids were engaged, they were doing what they were supposed to be doing. And I had planning with my coach after, and she just told me about like all of the things that I did wrong. And I just, I don't know. How much more I can do. But my kids come in for indoor recess in three minutes, so I gotta get it together before then. I wanted to give you all a quick life update. I actually decided to resign from my teaching position. Teachers are quitting in droves and sharing their stories on TikTok. Under hashtags like Teachers Quit Talk and Ex Teachers of TikTok, teachers are sharing their final moments in the classroom, talking about their decision to leave, and documenting their journey. And why are teachers leaving? Burnout from long, grueling hours, stagnant wages, and a lack of meaningful support from administrators. We what is up, everybody? It's your girl Diamond Monet here, and I'm back with another video. And today is going to be an interesting topic. It's interesting. Um, it's very serious, and but I'm also very happy and glad to share it. And I'm glad for the next chapter and phase of my life. Uh, but first, if this is your first time seeing my face or knowing of my existence, my name is Diamond Monet. On this channel, we like to talk about all things pop culture, society, things going on in our society. I have a few vlogs, a lot of vlogs on this channel, and everything in between. Um, if you like that kind of content or if you just like my personality, then I think you should consider subscribing to my channel um all right so let's just get into it i know you clicked on this video because you saw the title yes i have formally resigned i've quit my job as a teacher the only real job i've ever known in my adult life i have decided to resign um from that position and i did it um today was the official first day um i wrote the resignation letter last night or yesterday and i sent it I put it in formally in the computer for the district to receive it. And I'm on to the next chapter of my life, the next phase of my life. Um, but I want to talk about and I will be reading the resignation letter um, on the video with you guys. So you can get an idea of what the what the problem really was. But aside from that one issue, there's not just one thing. There's, of course, a multitude, a plethora of issues um, within the school system at large that needs to be talked about and discussed. And those hot takes about children not being able to read was definitely not my issue. Now, I did have a subset of group of students who definitely struggled, but that was not my problem. Behavior also was not my problem. There was a moral and ethic issue that I had with the institution that I worked for that was governed under um, the school system in which is you know um, held here in Memphis Tennessee um, and I'm just not I'm not happy about the way that they're deciding to handle the young minds of the children and I just feel like I need to just let it let let go and let God and take my child out of the out of the district so i'm gonna read um my resignation letter just to start the conversation i am not going to um post it be because there's names on there that i just don't want um there are names on there that i don't want you know to show um i don't want to show those names Letter of Resignation. Dear Blank, I would like to formally resign from my position as the fourth grade math and science teacher at 2024, making my last day of employment January 26, 2024. 
After a long weekend of self-reflection and consideration, I have decided to sever ties with my seven year long career with education. As a devoted educator over the years, I have watched this institution decrease in value, making test scores the top priority and teacher morale the lowest on the list of attention needing to be paid to detail. There is not one person who is to blame. Unfortunately, I blame everyone, including the Board of Education. Things should not be this bad. From the moment I accepted this role with MSCS, I have been used and not in the best ways. I worked for two weeks without compensation, not to mention allowing myself to be filmed countless times by the district only to have no clear understanding of where this media is to be housed. My mental health has been on a slow and steady decline. I have gone back and forth with HR over my compensation based on my years of experience and was met with total disdain by the employee on duty towards my situation. My autonomy over my classroom is consistently met with rude and entitled parents having meetings behind my back with the head of the school and I am being asked to compromise the way I run my classroom. This is not what I signed up for. Every week I am being asked to incorporate something new that is not based on the envisioned curriculum that was presented to me at the beginning of the school year. I am not getting paid enough money to pile on stress that ultimately leads me nowhere. I am expected to grow and reach pinnacle heights on TN Ready for what? A 1% raise and no bonus. I refuse to sell my labor at such a cheap price. Finally, as a mother of a pupil situated at blank 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 school, I have one question. Would you send your child to a school knowing their main goal is to ensure she is one of the students who passes the TN Ready? What happened to the development of a whole child? The children these days need more than skill and drill tactics. I refuse to come to work and teach to a standardized test. Where are the ethics? Where are your morals for these growing minds? My moral principles are guided by the highest standards and my faith would not allow me to continue to work for an institution that does not have the best interest of my child at the forefront of their mind. All children deserve a great education, not just the ones attending private schools. Such and such, such and such schools needs to do better. I wish you and my colleagues all the best. I am glad to have met you. Sincerely, me. So that's that. That's what I decided to say. That's the reason why mainly I've decided to sever ties with at the educational school system. They are, there is something, I have not fully done any research and I honestly don't think that I want to, but there is something that's not cleaning the buttermilk as to why there's so much emphasis on these standardized tests. I know it's like the school to pipe, school to prison pipeline situation, but that's mainly for those kids that perform at a specific uh, percentile. That's not what's governing what why my leadership was acting the way that they were acting there's also some type of funding attached to it and i'm gonna tell you guys something else like the 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 big wigs and the people that are kind of high up in education here in memphis who have made it their lifelong life goal career to like be in this system they're getting paid they make good money and they drive nice cars and live in nice houses. So there has to be some sort of incentive based um, compensation for those people who are higher up when, when schools perform well on standardized testing. And I just will not allow myself to be one of those people who are getting burnt out and stressed out to make sure that we achieve these specific test scores and then not be paid for it. At this, at the end of the day, I live in America and I am a woman who likes nice things and I have a child that I have to take care of. Why would I continue, like I said in my papers, to sell my labor at such a cheap price? You guys are not doing anything. You're not going above and beyond for me, so why should I go above and beyond for you? And so many like things, it's so many nuances to this topic that I can just talk about, you know, and I'm telling any teacher that wants to become a teacher, you have to be able to stand up for yourself. Not saying to quit. Don't do like I did. I was just pushed to my limit. Something else ended up happening that ultimately made me make this decision, but I'm not mad at it at all. I feel like that needed to occur for me to do my self-reflection and to go ahead and resign from teaching. But even if that situation 
situation didn't happen, I was still on my way out. I probably just would have been able to make it until after the test, TCAP test. I don't know. But you have to be able to stand up for yourself because if anything, the people, what they'll do is they'll they'll continue to tell you that you have to do something. They'll And then as you continue to say yes, 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 and yes, they'll keep on telling you to do, 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 and do. And don't nobody know when all of this mess is going to stop because nobody's willing to stand up and say this is too much. So until someone says this is too much, it's going to keep happening. It's going to keep going. And... I know that for a fact because I've been teaching actually eight years, not seven like the, I was being politically correct by saying seven, but I've been teaching for eight years. One just didn't count as a professional teacher, but I definitely taught 180 days that year of my student teaching. And a lot of times by myself. But um, yeah, it's, a, it's an abusive, um, it, it's a mentally abusive um, job to be an educator, especially in a school district such as the one that's here in Memphis, Tennessee. It's abusive on, on so many levels. You have so many people that are in charge. You have so many, uh, and, and you don't really know what the truth is either. And you don't really know. The reason why I also resigned is because I didn't really know my boss for real. I didn't know what I could trust her with. You feel what I'm saying? And I've been through so much with one other boss that I wouldn't allow to be my boss over the summer. If you, I'll tag the video above about how I got fired on my day off from the job that I was at for six years. You know what I'm saying? I just got with this district and look at me now, I only lasted five months. But um, what I'm saying this to say is that you, there's a lot of um, nefarious things going on and I don't know who's a part of that plot is what I'm trying to say. You just never know. You don't know who to trust. And I think I sent I sent my boss a text message Saturday in hopes that she would at least respond and understand where I was coming from Friday. And maybe we could have um, we could have talked and we could have avoided this because I know for a fact this is not something that she wanted. And this is probably not something that she saw coming either. But if she would listen to who I am as a person and actually take note on it, you would have understood that I'm a no nonsense type of person. I do not play. When I say that I'm going to do something, I'm going to do it. So I never told her that I was going to go ahead and resign, but it has come out of my mouth two times too many while being at that school. First of all, when I say it one time, I'm gonna do it. I know I'm gonna do it, I just don't know when. But if the, after I said it twice, you have to know I'm about to chunk the deuces up in here because I don't like people playing with me at all. You don't play with my daughter and you do not play with me. I don't care where we are. I don't care who signs my paycheck. I'll get another paycheck. I can get some money. I can, I can, excuse me, I can get some money. You know, so I'm not really bothered about that. So anyway, I said all that to say, I knew that I knew that I was gonna leave Tuesday. And boom, I wrote the letter Sunday. Because I just, it's just so many things. And you have a lot of times when you're working with um, the public school system, you have a lot of very entitled parents who they're entitled and they're not understanding all the effort and the work that you put in on a daily basis because they're not there. And their child is not gonna talk about it really that much because they're just children. They don't understand all the work that truly goes into this either. My job is to make it look easy for them and be fun. So they're not really understanding. So then you have one incident and one minor issue that occurs and then you have crazy ass parents or you have entitled parents thinking that they can come in and rearrange things this is my classroom i got the degree i got the job i had a lot of that going on and then i had a lot of backbiting I, it was just too much for me to contain in this little brain this little head and this body of mine i just couldn't keep up with all of the problems and then you have a lot of passive aggressiveness to uh, i heard one person say once that to be professional is to be passive aggressive and i don't know how much i agree with on that but i do agree with that point as a whole i definitely agree with it but um you have a lot of that and it's a lot of fakeness and phoniness and that's another thing that i just had not been able to mesh or gel with ever in my life to that's why i'm kind i'm a loner now because i will always have like 
little itchy feelings about people that just will make me itch because it's like I can't put my finger on what the problem is with you but I just really don't trust you and so because of my inability to trust I'm never able to fully open up and be myself and so that's another reason why I had to resign because I didn't trust my leadership to even understand my true mindset because when I tell you I I am a I am I'm a very innovative mind seriously but I have my discernment is strong as well and I'm a genuine person and I gave and I added so much value to that institution I know that I did because from the moment I walked in they want me to do this and this and that and be on camera for this and do this and oh your test scores are awesome amazing and but I'm not doing it for that for real this is just who I am as a woman this is I just radiate at a high level not to brag on myself but I just do so the things that look like they're coming off like I'm working real hard at it, it's so natural to me because I am genuine. And I just feel like I was inserted into a place that didn't know how to receive that. They didn't know how to receive that. And I was once with a boss, my boss that I was with for five years straight, he, he understood. He understood the light that I had. We didn't, we didn't always get along. We didn't always have the best of times, but we understood each other. And that's why I stayed at that job so long. And so when it was his time to go, it ended up being my time to go as well. So we had to part ways. And so I don't think I ever come across a situation as good as that one. Not, I don't, I don't know what I was looking for when I went to this big school district. I just really wanted to get a job. And what really, what I really keep thinking about is how much I should not have, because I had the money to really take the time and focus on my craft, which is YouTube. I had got a money. I had got a big check uh, in August, but I just wanted to have that money, and I wanted to also keep on making more money. And so that's why I went to work. I shouldn't have went to work, but I went. I'm glad that I went. I learned so much. I learned so much about myself enough to know that it was time for me to go, and then to go ahead and like go full throttle with what I really want to do, which is this. So I just wanted to come and share um, a piece of my life, a piece of me, something that's interesting to me. Uh, something that I'm sorry that might be interesting to you for you to hear and see and how I'm not just here for my goals I'm not afraid of what's to come. I'm excited for this new journey And I'll be cranking out a whole lot of content as I will have more time to really think about stuff and focus on what I really want to put into the universe Another thing with teaching it would just drain you of everything I would never I would always come home get out of my clothes and have to sit down for like an hour, make break, make dinner and come back and lay down. Like it was just, it's just really emotionally taxing to do a job like that and to continuously put yourself in harm's way, put yourself in the, in the hands of an abuser. You know, the, the, the district, the business of education is abuse for sure. And I don't know if I want to do a deep dive on it. I might try to do a deep dive on it. I don't know. But I do know that I'm glad that I'm out there, motherfucker. I'm glad I'm gone. I'm so glad I'm gone. But yeah. So the next topic is going to be on this whole little situation is the fact that I've also decided to remove my daughter from the school district and to homeschool her. So I will be bringing you guys on that journey as well, the homeschooling journey. I, I think it's very interesting. The more I've looked into it, I'm like, this cop, this probably could be something that people want to hear about. So I'll talk about that process and how that's supposed to go. Um, also, and just like, you know, stay tuned. I got a lot to say and a lot of things that I want to share. So stay tuned. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure you leave a comment about it. And also make sure you subscribe to my channel, share the video if you want to share the video. And I'll see you guys soon in the next upload. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, it's Diamond Monet.